Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to solve the ha hacker rank problem called as angry professor, which we just solved it in the previous session. But we solved it using C. Now we'll try to solve it using C++. The first thing which comes to mind when you want to shift from C to C++ is replacing all your printf to C out and all your scanf to C in. Right? So if you want, you can do this. So we can just replace this scanf with C in. Right? The first thing what you can think of doing it. But scanf also works in C++. There's no harm in case if using scanf. Okay, if you want to retain scanf, we can retain scanf. Right. That's the first thing. The second thing what I'd like to do it is we had used this array to capture all the arrival time. Instead of using this traditional array, which also works in C++, but we'll try to use a much better construct of C++ called as a vector. We'll try to use a vector out here. We'll use vector of integer and I'll use the same name as arrival time. So I don't need to mention the size and I can just keep on adding the elements and the vector size keeps on increasing it. Now I'd like to read the entry time of all the students. In order to read the entry time, first I'll try to read each element from the user one by one. And after reading the elements, I'll try to add up to a vector. When you want to add the elements to a vector, we use a method called as push underscore back. We pass the element and the pushback will take care of resizing the vector. Right. Okay. So this is the second change what we did. Fine. Now the third change is, is you'll be passing the same vector here. Now vector carries its own size. So I don't really need to explicitly pass the size. I don't need to pass the size. Right. So this is the third change what I've done. So first I did replace scan of C in, then I replace the traditional array with a vector and then okay since vector carries its own size, I'll just be passing the vector. I'll not be passing the n which okay was required when you pass a traditional array. Right. Now let's go to function. Here again we'll be using a vector to receive the parameter. We don't require the square braces, neither we require the same. And here, to keep track of number of times a loop should repeat, I'll use this vector object dot size. The vector object dot size gives me the number of elements. Fine. And now, since we are using this vector, we do require a header file called as vector. And then, and since we are using this C in I require IO stream and then I need to in use this namespace fine so let's save this now let's try to compile this code and try to understand is this compile okay working fine or not so let me just try to compile it's perfect run this the first input is basically the number of test cases let us try to use only one test case the second one is the number of students here, the number of students. So let us say there are five students and the third one will be the threshold. Now let us say threshold is three. The fourth one will be the entry time of the students. So let us say there is minus one and then let us say zero, then let us say minus two, then let us say one and then two, right? Now how many people are there in the class at the time beginning of the class? Okay, the first three, all three are on time. The fourth and fifth person is late. Right? Okay. So, since we already have three people at the beginning of the class, the class will not be cancelled. Right? So, we learned how do we replace a traditional array with a vector, wherein vector carries its own size, so we don't need to explicitly mention the size. So, that is the first thing what we did. The second thing what we will be doing in this, instead of hard coding the code here directly, I'll try to do it in a little bit different way wherein I'll write a function called as is on time. I'll be passing the entry time. I'll just say 
entry time of individual student right now if the entry time which is a single element if it is less than or equal to 0 I would like to return true otherwise I would like to return false now here I will just be calling the function name is on time of arrival time of i if this returns true I will be doing the same operation please do remember instead of writing is less than or equal to 0 I just wrote a separate function like is on time right so now if you want you can re verify this is this working fine or not so let me try to recompile this code no problems right again number of test cases 1 let us say 5 is the uh, total students the class 3 is the threshold let us say minus 1 0 1 2 3 the only two people present in the class at the beginning of the class so the class will be cancelled right working fine ok now let us try to understand why we did this there was a purpose for doing this now I just try to modify this a little bit more instead of writing the function name directly here telling that ok this is a function to be called there will be a twist in this wherein I will be passing the function name as an argument is on time remember I am passing the function name as an argument so whenever you pass the function name as an argument to any other function we need to receive it through a function pointer so here I will be receiving it through a function pointer right so the functions return type is bool right and then we require a function pointer and it takes one parameter of type integer so we are receiving this okay th through a function pointer the address of is on time what you are passing from the main now here instead of using the function name directly I will be using this pointer to function whatever the name you have mentioned here I am trying to use this the same thing here let me just save this once more and then let me try to verify is this again working or not let me try to compile this and then run this again one test case let us say 5 people and assume that the threshold is 4 and then minus 1 0 1 minus 2 then let us say again this is ok 2 so there are 3 people present and my threshold is 4 so the class is cancelled still working fine ok now the question is why did I complicate this why did I use a function pointer why did I write a separate function when a simple code wherein I had used this arrival time of i less than or equal to 0 when that was working why did I use this this is basically to demonstrate a code which works very similar to one of the built in functions called as countif right here we had to write our code now something similar to this we do have a built in function called as countif right here come down here in this place I will just try to write this is a user defined function what we wrote now I will just try to write a built in function called as count if count if function takes three arguments the first argument is an iterated to the beginning of the vector second argument is the iterated to the end and then the third one is the function which needs to be applied on every element and ok with every element when you apply if it returns true then the counter value keeps incrementing otherwise no and final returns ok the number of elements in that collection which uh, satisfies this particular condition which is specified by the function the third parameter so how do I get the uh, iterate to the first element I will just use the vector object dot begin then second one end third I'll be passing is on time please do remember that this is a built-in function this is a built-in function and wherein we need to pass the first argument the iterated to the beginning second argument iterated to end and third argument we need to pass a function pointer or the address of the function okay which will be received through a function point 
and inside that it does something very similar to what we did it basically uses a loop and then okay for every element it okay uh, invokes the function whatever you have passed as an argument head argument it collects the function pointer internally does the same thing now if you want to use this countif we need to include the header file called as algorithm fine so let's go back here let us try to recompile this and let us try to run this you can again take the test cases one then let us say six is the number of people four is a threshold minus one one zero minus one one again zero right and you can just see one okay i have one two three and then four people present okay so the class will not be cancelled done so there was no need for us to write this code i can just write the simple function and then i can just pass it on to the count underscore if and that will return the number of elements which is satisfying this particular condition simple so i'd like to take this code and i'd like to put it in hacker rank and test it is working or not so i'm going to hacker rank uh, okay the page angry professor is already opened so i just need to submit the code i'm just submitting the code here whatever i just wrote right then run this code works fine we can so su okay submit this and run through all the test cases yes everything is working fine so let's come back to the code here this is the code what we had have a look here we only wrote this function is on time and then the other information was just reading it you could have even used a traditional array only thing is in case that case you could just pass the array name comma array name plus n but better to use vector and then we just use this count underscore if fine okay so we okay we learned how to use a built in algorithm called as countif one of the meaningful examples okay where i could use countif thank you guys